She ain't never seen God in the beating, only seen God in the bleeding. And some are gonna like and hate and make her feel like she's a heathen. No cry for me, cry for me, this is how it goes. But child knows all of your woes, my black rose. Yeah. She gets weak, and it's not a helping hand up on the scene to be seen. And when all seems lost, the garden of intervenes. He handles her with care, and he shows her she a queen. And them thorns are the fist mechanisms she never need. Black Rose. Black Rose.
all the mothers, you guys know how it is. You gotta put her down. So my mom is currently with her right now. She's probably sleeping. No, your, your mom's probably giving her sweet stuff. Oh, yeah. Keep her up all night. Right. <laughs> oh, bouncing right. all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's good. Well, actually, let's let's start with that. Uh, mm -hmm. How's motherhood? It's good. Uh, I think uh, around the third month, I finally got used to everything. It how old is the baby now? She's gonna be six months. Six uh, months. Okay. Uh, July third. So. Um, yeah, the beginning was a big shocker. I, I think you can never really prepare yourself for motherhood. Mm -hmm. Like being pregnant, the nine months, everybody kept telling me, get ready, you're in for something new. I'm like, whatever, I got it. I even <laughs> compared it, I was like, I have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> My dog is crazy, so I was like, I, I got up in the middle of the night, let him out and stuff. I was like, how much worse can it be? So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it is a lot worse. <laughs> Best Radio on RedFestRadio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.RedFestRadio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel, hip hop, music, and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch, watch, learn, learn, love, love, support, support. Rapfest Radio on RapfestRadio.com. RapfestRadio.com. To be able to have a family and continue to do ministry. Right. You know, naturally, I mean, I can say this because it happened. I remember going to an event where his son was ministering. We were out in Jersey, mm -hmm. and right before going on stage, because she was with child, like oh. sick to oh. the stomach, you're like, I can't do this. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Well, and you rocked. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> no, but she's okay. But she, but you did it. Yeah. I like, yeah. I mean, I'm shouting it out now because this pastor yeah. was kind of funny at the time. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> but right. whoever doesn't know wouldn't wouldn't right. know the difference. You right. know, except. Wow, she did good. Consider she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Wow, right, she did right, good. You know, right. and and that's a challenge. I mean, what other challenges do you think you're gonna face now with your music and the baby? Um, I think you know I'm working on my second album right now, so you know we're really trying to push it hard this time. Um, my last album came out like four years ago. Radio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.rampfestradio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel, hip hop, music, and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rapfest Radio on RapfestRadio.com. 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 I never, I never forget once we were at Crossroads doing this big event. I think it was one of the Nikki Cruz campaign things. Right. So there's like 800 people every night, four nights, maybe four shows, whatever. We're just up there, and I'm up there ready, about to do a freestyle. And I, I remember the, the band's like, dun, 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 I'm like, that's CJ. <laughs> that's all that came to our mind. Like, right, right. That's my son crying over there, and I'm about that's to go on stage. Like, I want to say, like, uh, sorry, right. baby. You know, <laughs> it, it's tough, but you know, it's also good to know that they they see what you do, right? You know, and that's that's the blessing for us now. And my kids all know, hey, this is what we do, right? Right? Yeah, right. we don't know. Do we get paid for it? No, but yeah. this is our ministry. Yeah. You know, so the child would be. It's funny because sometimes I do I rap like, in front of Kayla. She has no idea what I'm doing. She just looks at me like I'm crazy. Sometimes <laughs> I try and sing a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> 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 It's like it's, it's confirmed. She's crazy. <laughs> oh, well. That's great, yeah. though. But so. that's that's good. And, and naturally, Tim has to adjust as well. Right. And I know you know he has a crazy schedule, but yeah. he's very supportive of your ministry, yeah. Yeah. which is something that we're big on. You know, husband and wife. The, I mean, you you have to be together in in all that you do. Right, Otherwise, right. it's just a open door for a disaster. Right. You know, but but that's important. Man, we had a great weekend for those people that were probably watching the show last week. We mentioned that we were going to be over at Rikers Island this week, uh, Saturday, it just passed. And we were able to take his son Lee with us. 
as well as Jay Cabasa and a group of about maybe 20 people. Yeah, yeah. About 20, 20 people. We were rolling deep. We were. Yes. We were. We That's were rolling corny. deep. <laughs> yeah. We were rolling deep. Right? <laughs> from the, the chick from Staten Island. Said, we were rolling deep. That yeah. <laughs> she sings to a baby and scared. Me. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. It was, to a certain extent, fun. Right. But it's sad at the yeah. same time. Very. Yeah. You know, and one thing that I that I really appreciated was when we extended the invite to you, it was like almost no hesitation. Like this is what I do. Right, right. You know, so what 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 brings that that passion, you know, to you? I I think um, um, it just it's so important as Christian artists, just Christians in general, that we have to know what it's about to be Christian. And a lot of times when you're performing, you do a lot of churches, you do a lot of Christian events. Not saying that Christians don't need to hear words, because sometimes you just need to be refreshed, but you know, doing prison ministry, group homes, stuff like that, or just going out into the world where even people who are rich, they feel like they don't need God. Mm. I feel we have to do those type of events more. Mm. And I love doing those types because I feel like I'm really impacting people. You know, sometimes it gets kind of drained down a little bit when you're doing the same type of shows over and over. So doing these, I feel like it's so effective. And Christians, it reminds them of why they're doing it. It's not about mm. the money. It's not about looking good. You right. know how many CDs you're selling. It's about ministering and letting people know that you change them. And when you saw those people, they uh -huh. were standing up. That one kid was crying and everything. It makes you realize that. Yeah, he really that. broke down. Yeah. But what, you know, this is, this is funny. I mean, I, I tell everybody... This is my favorite rapper right here. I think I've told her that. I told her husband, and I mean that. And it's, and it's not so much about the skills. It's the whole the attitude and the way you carry yourself, and right. just you know what your focus is that we can tell. Right. But um, what was your reaction? I remember you came up to me as, is it all right for crowd participation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did you expect, you know, and how right. was your reaction to how they reacted? Because I didn't, you know, obviously you don't know who's Christian or not, and because it's such a, you know, sh I feel so strict and restricted there, so I didn't know if I make them say certain things like, oh, no, you can't make them do this, you can't make them do that. Like, I was going to tell them to stand, but I didn't know if you're allowed to do that either. Right, probably like, would have caused a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, he said, we'll never come back. Riot. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> they heard the alarm, dogs coming so, out, chasing us out. So I didn't know what I was supposed to do when I told them to put their hands up. I Like, I really didn't know, so I didn't want to cross over anyone. Anyway. I wanted to follow Red Fest Radio on RedFestRadio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.rampfestradio.com Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel hip hop music and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rapfest Radio on RapfestRadio.com. I mean, when you did the acapella piece, naturally you had them just lyrically. The, they were at the ed, literally at the yes. edge of their seats. And Eli kept coming yeah, to me. Like, I wish they let us bring our cameras in to take know, pictures. Was just, I wish they were literally at the ed, edge of their seat, and they're like, right. "Yo, like you heard that? You heard that?" Right. And then when the beat dropped and he did the first track, they were like, "Oh." Right. Like, I can't believe it. Right, I, right. You know, and I, I wish we yeah. would have been able to stop. What's on your mind right now? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking, you know? Mm. Um, it's also different. Like, I know it must feel different for you when you get that reaction from a Christian crowd. Right. It's more of expected because, you know, they're under, right. they understand the gospel, but right. you're talking to kids that. Redfest Radio on RedFestRadio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.redfestradio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel hip hop music and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Redfest Radio on RedFestRadio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.redfestradio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel, hip hop, music, and videos. 
Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rapfest Radio on Rapfest Radio dot com. Rapfest Radio dot com. Rapfest Radio dot com. My heart broke. Just like I, I love the fact that you kept talking and we kept trying to like speak, see if they would share anything. And when I was even up there, I was trying to look for them because yeah, when you said towards the back, I think yeah, they moved. I, I kind of saw one of them, but I, I wanted to see what he thought because when we were sitting together and you told him that I was gonna rap, he was like, whatever. I just mm. want to go home. That's what he mm. kept saying. He kept I guess. Saying I wanted to but go my hands were standing up thinking about it. I was like, right. That's it was all so he said. It was like, what kind of music do you like? I just want to go home. Everything was, I just want right. to go home. It was like the default response. Wow. And naturally, you have to. Right. He's locked up. He wants to go home. But go ahead, continue. Like, yeah. So then, um, I when I was sitting there with them, and I was just, I was just thinking about what he kept saying, and the fact that. You know, once we leave this place, we could go home. We could we could go home. We could do whatever we want to do. I could go home to Kayla. And I, me and Tim were driving back that day. And I was thinking about these kids, because especially what he was saying. And I'm going to go home, and I'm going to hug my daughter. I'm going to see my mother. I'm going to go see my family the next day. It was Father's Day. It's just, it's it's so heartbreaking that I could do all these things. I could go mm -hmm. back, and I could hug my, my family. And these kids, they just go back into their dorms or whatever, and they have to hear. They have to be restricted. Like, even when we were having hot dogs and stuff and we were eating, mm -hmm. like, one of the kids wanted relish and, like, stupid. I was like, oh, you want relish? Like, we went like that and the, the security was like, don't give it to him. So, in my head, I'm like, they can't even hold relish, you know? Oh, and I understand right, yeah. why, but to me, Oh, you were going to give him the actual bottle? Yeah, I was like, yeah, you want some? <laughs> 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 it was a riot. Another riot. <laughs> Another riot, you know. Yeah, that's something right that here. also affected me, the fact that we couldn't even taste seasoning in the house. Fest Radio on RedFestRadio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.RedFestRadio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel hip hop music and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rapfest Radio on RapfestRadio.com. RapfestRadio.com. You mean the two guys that we sat and spoke to for, for a little while? At the end, he was like, you know, I really want to thank you guys for coming out here and speaking to us. Right. That the other, the one that was um, sitting across from me, he, I could tell he really was. He wanted to like say a lot of things, but he was just mm -hmm. holding back. But he kept talking about how he wanted prayer. He loved prayer. He prayed himself. He read the Bible and everything. So right. I knew there was something in there, you know. So I'm hoping that I, I really did minister him to minister to him that, you know, today he's different. Than when right. he was on Saturday. And, and your Staten Island peep that was sitting in the front row, oh, yeah. that only one kid from Staten Island. Was more than usual, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But it was, it was, uh, it was interesting because uh, you were there when we were speaking to him at right. the end, and his statement was, I, you know what? I, you no, know, no, say I don't want to think. See, for that's what I'm thinking right now. What you were gonna, what you're gonna so say? So go ahead, you say, and I'll say whatever. Okay. Else. No, when he was gonna say that he wanted to open the Bible because he knew he was gonna be here for a while. Mm -hmm. Right, because yeah. he asked, are you guys coming back? I said, yeah, we'll come back. I don't right. know when. He said, you think you'll come back this summer? I'm like, well, I don't know when we're coming back, but honestly, when we come back, I hope you're not here. Right. You know, I don't want to see you. Mm -hmm. And he says, well, I'm going to be here for a long time. Yeah, and I was like, oh. <sighs> like open dirt, dive in, you know, yeah, what do right. I do? Mm -hmm. And then he says, he says, but I want to thank you because you make me want to read my Bible. I have a brand new Bible I haven't opened yet. And then he started asking, where do I start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, what do I read? If somebody told me Proverbs, I was like, it's, go for it. You right. know, that's what it's going to take. Start in Proverbs, read Psalms, work your way around from there. But he was really excited about reading it. And even the other guy that was sitting with us in the circle there, he says, yeah, I have a Bible. And, it, you know, I started telling him, so your boy here said he read the book of John. Read the book of John and talk about right. it with him. Right, that was You know, so now they have a, something in common there. Yeah. But it, it was, it was a, right. it's a tough thing. It's not your typical, ladies and gentlemen, he's a lead. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going to the top. Down, top, top, down. That means nothing. <laughs> That's a, nothing, nothing. Right. It's, and it's interesting, too, because we've heard a lot of your stuff. And, you know, you have to, in a different situation, you have to be able to know 
what songs to minister when. Right. Redfest Radio on redfestradio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.redfestradio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel hip hop music and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rapfest Radio on RapfestRadio.com. RapfestRadio.com. You know, again, just just the, the the humble approach to what we do is what makes you who you are. You know, you could you could be the dopest MC with the stinkiest attitude, and I don't care for you. I'm sorry. Right. I have no time to waste listening to you brag and boast about yourself. Right. You know, but that's not that's not how you come across, and that's one thing we really appreciate about you. And, you know, we are praying that you know four years is a long time. It is. You know, I gotta get on rock. Oh man, he must be suffering. It's rocks full. It's rocks full? Yeah. Oh. He's Ladies and gentlemen, down. you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think he's going to buy that. Yeah, Is he in the, if he's in the chat room, get yeah, ready. There's going to be some, some slant. Some, he's not. Some I'm going to get on for that too. He's not in the chat room. <laughs> no, but, you know, there, there, there's many times where we have to decide like, what, what are we doing this for? Right. I personally think we should make a law. You want to be a Christian rapper, you have to do prison ministry. Yeah. You know, to the teenagers. Well, street ministry in in general, because it's it's a whole different animal. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes, you know, it's it's a way to test where you stand. Right. You know, because it's it's we're not called to minister to the ones that are already saved. Yes, they need it, like you said. Right. But that's not our, our our commission. Our commandment from God is to go out. If we're going out and we're not prepared to go out, other our material or ourselves. And you know, then we need to check ourselves and we need to take a step back and go, you know, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, I, I know I can rap. I know I can do this. But what do I have to do to get to the next level right. where I can, you know, do that? And it, it takes maturity sometimes yeah. to actually realize that. Right, right. You know? Yeah. I do, and I was, um, real quick, I was talking right. to Gage about what you guys talk about. And, you know, Gage, great rapper too, but he always says that that's first and foremost what is very important to him is that, you want to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with these people that you're ministering to. That you could be rapping to like thousands of people, but to know that you affected one person and have a relationship with them—that's right. what you know. Matters. As a matter of fact, Brother E had texted me the night before, and his text was, "Gage would have been good for this." Oh, Gage, did you hear that? But it's 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 true. But you know, we had a certain lineup; right. it just didn't work out, and everything was last minute. I hate calling people last minute, right. you know. But uh, yeah, definitely, Gage. Yeah. Gage would have been right on point for this. Uh, not everybody could do it, you know. Yeah, that's and the truth. Afterwards, like we were driving home, it was really just the three of us at this point, and I'm thinking of different artists and saying, "No, this one wouldn't have worked." So who who was? I'm just joking. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't hold back. <laughs> That'll be for the next show. No, you but tune in. but don't you think every Christian artist should be good mm -hmm. for that? Though? Should be. Should be. Because that's what you're doing it. Well. Yeah, that makes sense. I think but that's where, like you were saying before, like the fact that one thing that stands about you is the fact that you're uh, you're humble in a lot of ways. And then right. when it comes to the fact that you could be dope, but if you're all about yourself and every rhyme is about how you didn't get signed or you got signed or whatever, right. something's wrong. And your right. your 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 focus should be to do those types of events right. like you said. It should be to be in these places that a lot of people are not going to. To be in places where the word is not right. commonly right. spread and actually make a difference in the lives of those. And right. I think it was great. You know, and I think the fact that, that he suddenly was there, you know, that, that really took them to a level like Wow, like this you know, Christian female MC, and she's and it's a challenge, right and, and it's a challenge because some people, not for nothing, are not good enough to be in the street because their music is not up Absolutely. to par yeah. to yeah. someone in the street to turn their heads and go, hold so up, like, you know, this sounds right. really good because their standard is what they're right, used to right, hearing, right. and the standard the world puts forth right, right. in rap is like way up here. Right. So you know, if, if your music is not up to standard, doesn't matter what you're saying right. because you already got tuned out because it's not up right. to par 
you know so it's also a challenge for the rappers that their skills and their production and everything has to be up to par so when you go to the streets what you're saying is effective and you've got their attention right you know right and that's true because when we were sitting there with the two the two kids when they were playing like the cray church clothes and stuff i saw them they were bopping it i was like yo right if they heard <laughs> this whole album they'd be crazy right mm -hmm. yet when you ask them what kind of music they listen to they're like whatever's on the yeah, radio yeah that's so weird i asked them but did you notice that they had those clear radios they get like a, a like a oh. trans transistor radio mm -hmm. am fm type radio that's clear see-through and a headphone so they can hear the radio but that's it but they don't have an ipod and cd so that's mm -hmm. why they're saying whatever plays on the radio mm -hmm. and who knows if they're restricted to certain stations yeah i wonder what stations you know they probably they, they, yeah right. i doubt sure. that i mean we don't want it you know right. not in prison right you know, <laughs> who knows what that could cause <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah drake and whatever just had a oh, fight yeah. in the big bar. oh yeah <laughs> you know you don't want that. Hopefully it's like K-Love or something. But, you know. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what What I wanted to say, because uh, I want to get into to one of your music videos. Mm -hmm. uh, I was really impressed and proud of Jay Cabasa. Oh, he did a great yes, job. He did. Yes. And I was a little concerned. I he was scared. I was a little concerned. <laughs> I thought he was scared. But he, like, you know, he stepped up. Let's but, talk about being scared, Eli. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. I was going to not move. I was going to not move. You but, were behind, there was enough people to do sounds, you did not move. Yeah. Jay Cabasa, I was a little more concerned because I know his music, and his music is more on the worship side. Right. You know, can't stop, won't that red stop. Shirt is kind of scary. That, that you have to, you almost have to be a Christian to really feel what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he was able to relay the message regardless, and the kids were loving yeah. it. Yeah. The kids were loving it. Like, I thought they were going to complain that he didn't rap because, right. you know. It, when you look at Jay Cabasa and you hear the track, he's like, yo, he's going to spit yeah. some hard lyrics. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, he teased him, yeah. Oh, oh. And then, you thought he was going to rap as well, too? <laughs> but then, you know, he came out and he started, wake up in the morning. It's like, what? But then the kids started to Some of them, yeah. They were singing. Yeah, they were singing with him. They were singing to it. So Jay Cabasa, man, congrats, man. He did a great, man. great he job, man. And, you know, I guess sometimes you have to be put in those situations to almost test what your skills are and what right. your, you know, what weapons do I have? You know, where, yeah, where can right. I go with this? It was good. Yeah, we're going to go into this video, uh, Open Your Eyes. Oh. And when, this video is a little little dated right now. So, 2009. Oh, 2009. I'm just going to keep mentioning that so you can hurry up and get in the I studio know. and do some new stuff. But I still love it. Right. It's still a great video. It's still a great song. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to talk a little bit about it or you just want me to play uh, it? Yeah, just a real quick open your eyes. It's dedicated to all ladies in bad relationships uh, to know that God has better for you and to um, keep waiting. You know, don't fall for any of the devil's traps and yeah. Actually, now you say that, you did this song at the yeah. prison. Did, and there were no ladies. No ladies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and that's all she said. The officers. The officers. The officers. The officers. The officers. Yeah. The officers. The officers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah. 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 And we were able to pray with them at the end, so hopefully mm -hmm. that'll tie in. But at first, like, I'm like, da, 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 so. that's that, that open your eyes? I'm looking like, no, the girls came in. I'm just saying. But they were still feeling it. I can minister to the guy saying this is how you should. Right. Yeah, when you right. didn't say that, though, I yeah. think that was good, though. And I think that's how they, they yeah. were listening to it. But that, that was a good choice, though. Yeah. That was a good choice. Talk so, about well, flipping it. Yeah. All right, this song's for the ladies. I know there's no ladies here. But this song's yeah, for the like, ladies. If there were ladies here, this song would be for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all, right. all right, check it out, man. We're going to go to this video, Open Your Eyes by Heath Salida. We're going to come back and talk about Eli's fear. Oh, wow. <laughs> She was staring at her feet, she couldn't face the world She took her breath, closed her eyes, suicide was on her mind Cause her future made her cry, was the pride of a woman She never had it in her ever since a man played his game Bragging that he went and took her out and gave her dinner But fed her all these lies, his face was in disguise Every time he smiled at her, he cheated with her passion He played his girl with fashion, she didn't say a word Was scared of his reaction, instead she took some action Found another man having sex on the side She had the same game plan she played a part, working hard to deceive him But things were getting worse, she knew she had to leave him Could never please him, she had to look inside Heard a voice talking to her, open up your eyes 
From. But now we settle for the cheating and the sex We fail every test, but we're cheap and God's best All my ladies who can testify You're stressing this, felt your heart breaking hand From your past relationships, felt your hope burn down To the core of your soul There's no man that's living now that can make yourself whole Find yourself worth and serve it in your mind We deserve it, a purpose to be proud of who we are Cause we earned it A working job, taking care of families And we plan to be a new generation that succeeds We're free from the judge and any woman can succeed don't let a man hold you down, look inside Every stage is a building block, building up your pride Listen to your heart, open up your eyes Let a man tell you how to feel inside Show the worth of your soul so they'll see you through your eyes oh. Only God understands, he's working through your heart Every scar is a lesson learned to have a fresh start Love is worth waiting for, you'll find the greatest prize See the beauty of your soul if you open up your eyes Yeah, that was Open Your Eyes by He right. Sun Lee. And man, while the video is playing, because we know the song, we weren't paying too much right. attention. Sorry about that. <laughs> but we were talking about, we were just still talking about our experience in the prison, which is really why I wanted you here today, because I knew we were going to be at the prison the week, uh, Saturday right. before. But it's so many different experiences that you walk away from. Yeah. Like, what do, you, what do you think would, what are you going to do different? Now that you've done this ministry on Saturday, the prison. Well, I want to definitely, in regards to who I minister to, I want to make sure that I am giving back, and um, even uh, not. I want to do a lot more, uh, a lot more group homes. You know, I feel like I can relate a lot more to that. Just looking at life differently, I want to make sure that what I'm using with, with my art, you know, being a rapper and stuff, I'm actually doing something effective and not just doing the same thing all the time. Because sometimes I think it gets kind of repetitive. So, right. to make sure that I'm on point with that and I can reach as many people, whoever it is, wherever God takes me, that I don't say no to certain things, that I right. just go. Just right, and, it. and you were in the foster care system, so you, you understand yeah. some of the struggles that a lot of these kids go through as well. It, well, I was in it for like four months, but I mean, I understand. <laughs> four months is still, I mean. Well, I mean, I was little, so I didn't really remember anything. About but a half a year old, two months? <laughs> yeah, it was just uh, when I was born to four months, and then um, my mom adopted me, and then I came here. But uh, what I was telling Tim is that I understand the struggle of not knowing where you come from and being oh. given up and just living your whole life. Wonder. Never, you know, now that I have a daughter, you know, that's a very big struggle mm -hmm. of mine is that. She's my only, I, like, I just thought about it this week, she's my only blood connection. Like, I don't know anybody else related. It's just because I gave birth to her that wow. she carries my bloodline. Oh. But that's, you can't go back and track. Yeah, I don't, that's, forward. it's only her, you know? And then it's hard sometimes because I realized that I was easily able to give birth, which is such a blessing, you know, and to know that my mother wasn't able to, my, my adopted mother. 
and that I'm living and even though they're my family my true family and stuff like that to know that I have another family out there and that I may never know who they are I, I'll never know if I look like my mother or if my daughter looks like my mother you know so I'm so mm. like mm. My, my mom my adoptive mom she's there every day like she loves right. yeah she loves Kayla and stuff but sometimes it's hard because I can never say oh you look like grandma and stuff like that it, mm. it gets to me sometimes but you know as long as the love is there and my mom you sure. know it, that's all that really matters but mm -hmm. that's why I could relate in, in regards to group homes and stuff mm. is that uh yeah, it's yeah, hard I, not knowing where you come from I really think we have to you know make an effort to to find places like this that we can minister at instead of sitting around waiting maybe hopefully one day somebody will invite us i think there are enough christian mc rappers artists singers i mean we see jacob is not yeah. a rapper he, you can do this right. you know just ministries outreach ministries in general and all, all these churches that we should be calling the prisons like hey you guys need us right. you know one chaplain can't possibly cut, uh cover the whole prison or even a hospital or you know, or, or shelter. You were gonna say no, something. I was gonna say something. Does that change your writing at all? Doing having experiences like that, and then kind of afterwards, does that like, what, like, you're, like who do you? No, no, no. Oh. Well, that as well. As far, oh, oh, well, that, that too. Well. Prison ministry, mean. but the prison right. ministry. Does, how does that affect your writing um, after going to an event like that? I think it makes me realize that I want to have more songs that are directed more to people going through those situations. Sometimes I feel like I can't write about that because I haven't lived it. I don't really know what they go through, but. You know, sometimes you don't have to know exactly what they go through, but just giving them a message of hope and, you know, even though you're in the worst of the worst situations, God can, you know. One thing about Christian artists, I'm not trying to, like, directly pinpoint anybody, but sure. when you have an album and it's all about preaching and, you know, just like, oh, God, and stuff, I mean, it's important, but if every, and, you know, if you're non-Christian, it kind of gets redundant after a while. You have to have songs that really minister so they know that, you can relate to what they're going through. If you right. keep saying, oh yeah, you need to change your life for God, they'll be like, who are you to tell me that? Right. So sometimes I feel like that because you know, I'm Asian, I'm female and stuff, like what does she know? But if I could somehow, you know, switch it up so they could see that I can in some way relate to them or understand what they're going through. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be more. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when you do a full album of quote unquote preachy rap, you limit your audience as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, af after the first person hears it, they start saying, oh yeah, that guy, yeah, his stuff is all preaching straight up. Right. You know, like he should bring him to your youth group. You know, and that's, do you think, are we called to minister to youth groups and churches? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Well, I think we are because, you know, there are Christians who backslide and, you know, sometimes they could be in church acting like they're Christians and, you know, behind the scenes mm -hmm. and doing something else. So I think everybody always needs to hear it. You can, right. you can hear it all the time. You know, it's never too much. Yeah. You know, but I feel like we shouldn't just be doing it at churches. But then again, you know, I have conversations with other people and they say that, you know, certain artists are just meant to preach in front of certain crowds. Right. Like, you're not meant to do prison ministry and stuff. But to me, I feel like if you're a Christian, you should be able to talk to anybody about it. Right. So it's to the world. So That's that what I think. Pretty much puts well, everything well, under one. Do it and I, I know it's the right girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tim could rap to <laughs> But uh, when we had uh, Brothers Incorporated back in the days, um, we were, I like to say it this way, we were always accused of being the, the, the worship rappers. Because all of our songs were, you know, God is the man and, uh -huh. and um, let go and let God into your heart. You could run, but you can't hide once the Lord is in your heart, you know. and. All of the songs somehow ended up in either a psalm or some kind of scripture, mm -hmm. which really canceled out a lot of the street people without us knowing it, although we did more street ministry than I think anybody out there, you know. Um, but it's, it's, it's interesting how it can work, like the, the, the preachy rap can work in the church because sometimes that might be the only time they'll hear a preaching. Right. Oh. You know, so it's it's That's real true. tricky. I think there has to be a balance. Right. You know, where where you can get deep theological for that guy that's been locked up just reading his mm -hmm. Bible by himself and mm -hmm. now it all comes to life. Like, wow, she said it so perfect now. Right. You know, now I understand. But then also keep it a little That's true. You know, yeah. a little relevant for them to say, Yeah, right. I feel that struggle that's you know, that you just spoke about me. Right. You know? Uh before we continue, quick announcements here. Rap Fest 2012 is coming up August 11th. We have a yeah. phenomenal lineup this year. We have special guests. Uh, K Drama is going to be ministering. Uh, 
Also, the rep from Arizona. Have you heard Sick. the rep from Arizona? No. Oh, I'll give you my, oh, my, I'll I'll give you a CD from yeah. my car. He is he is insane. He is remind me to he is definitely CD. he fits yeah. under that definition of preaching to those people in the streets. Right. Uh, I was listening to his album a little bit more today, like in the morning, and I'm driving home even over here. I'm just like, but this is deep. He would have been perfect to bring to the this prison. Oh my gosh. He would have been his would have lyrics. Been perfect. How did you hear about it? Or is well, it me I, that I should hear about him already? I should have known about him. Well, no. I think uh -huh. he's a best kept secret. I know I heard about him through Rapzilla because Rapzilla was putting oh. the videos out there. I heard about him through a guy in our church years yeah. ago who gave and us a mixtape, literally a cassette with a bunch of songs, <laughs> and he was one of them, the rep. And I was like, yo, you gotta hear this guy, the rap. He's a good dude, good dude. Check him out, the rap, the rap. And he happened to be in New York recently with uh, Nelson Runaway. You know oh, Runaway? I love Runaway. He was in, he was yeah. in, the, in Jersey oh. doing some work, so yeah. we brought him in for a Rap Fest radio interview, and I fell in love with the dude. Right. I mean, I heard his music, and then I went onto his website, therepmusic.com, check it out, and watch his videos. It's so deep, so deep. I'm, I'm really excited. Yes. I'm, I'm really excited for this rap fest. I think it's right. going to be insane. Having a K drama, the rap, and of course Nikki Cruz is going to be out here ministering. Yeah. If anybody knows the streets, it's Nikki. You know uh, that's going to be good. Plus, we have a whole bunch of other artists. We'll ask you to just go to rapfestinc.com and get all of the details. And then the night before rap fest, we're going to be at the Sanctuary Fellowship Church celebrating the night before rap fest with uh, Pastor Jacob Bergai from the Fuel Conference yeah. in Jersey. Uh, great guy and we're also gonna have the J. Cruz project yep. ministering and song as well as Logos Most Rama yep. from Brooklyn right Brooklyn yes, yes. and they're gonna be ministering uh, as well and the Sanctuary Fellowship worship team it's just gonna be an all-out night of worship and encouragement getting us prepared for the following day when we're gonna hit the streets over by um, uh, 174th Street and Longfellow for Rap Fest on August 11th and the week before that we're gonna be doing the prayer walk uh, combined with the people from God Belongs in My City. That's August 4th. We're going to meet at the Pathmark parking lot at 12 noon. That's on East 174th Street in Longfellow, uh, along with God Belongs in My City. Eli's wearing one of the shirts now, so if you want, you go online get and get the shirt. shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, get this is the first time we do it at this scale. Mm -hmm. We usually do the prayer walk, whether it be three of us or 12 of us. Right. I think the most we have once was maybe like 20 people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, this year, we're looking at a big impact that we could actually go into the projects and pray and yeah. you know and let people know this is this is what we're doing you know and we're here to stay you can't get rid of us um, <laughs> it's our 19th year we're really excited rap fest 2012 august 11th um he said you coming to rap fest of course i'm coming even you though chilling out? even though i'm not performing there but you could bring the baby so we can find no i'm definitely baby. going i already told him oh <laughs> if he wants you know yeah, we're going. <laughs> I like that. I told him, so I asked him. We discussed it. No, yeah. I told him. <laughs> he already know I'm going to put it down. So I'm definitely going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was crazy last year. I love the location. Same, same, same location. location. The Different Jack, spot, though. They changed. They, they changed. flipped it a little bit. Where we had the stage last year right. is it's now AutoZone. Auto uh, auto it's AutoZone. <laughs> Which is good. It's right. good, though, because what happens now what pushes we, us we came the, if you remember last year you came in the parking lot then you had to hang a right and a right to find us in the corner here right i, I kind of got lost going there, but <laughs> so it was a big, it's a big spot but now what it is when you go in the parking lot we're going to be the first thing you see on the right oh, side yeah. oh, like God. you don't have to turn you, you left right or anything. you'll be able to see we'll be right facing the, the stores actually and we're facing yeah. all, all the stores, the stores. and I behind us <laughs> and behind us won't be the buildings but the, right. the cross bronx expressway you know right. you'll be able to look down and see that so even people driving up right. will be able to see this big stage and say yeah we should go to the park, park, right. parking lot and see what's going on so it worked, right. out, better so it worked out better for us uh, yeah last year was crazy Crazy. It was. It was packed. It was, it was insane. So it was good. And I loved it. it the, was so good. the owners of the development there, we were talking about Mid Bronx Desperados is the name of their, the company. Right. And they called Pastor Bowser from Calvary Church and said, listen, I don't know what you guys did that Saturday, but mm -hmm. all the stores are talking about it. They oh loved God. having you guys here. Right. You can do anything you want whenever you want here. Oh, you know, wow. Like you just tell us the date and you do it. And yeah, they were you know, very so. impressed. They were like, Everybody made money, and you know that's of their course. big thing. You know, right. they had to open all the stores. Stayed later open. They had no incidents in the mall that day. Wow. It was just incredible, incredible, incredible. That's a great thing to hear, though. Too. So you that's know, yeah, place gets busy. 
Yeah, yeah. That, place is packed. that place is packed. So we're looking we're forward excited. to it. But uh, our focus this year is we're trying to reach out to the projects. That's where Zulu Nation, Africa Bombada, right over the bridge. Wow. That's his hood. That's right. where we used to go to the street jams and stuff, Bronx River projects. Oh. So we're going to try to hit up there. And also there's a boys club close by. So that has a block, block, block of two, like yeah. a thousand kids that they, yeah. re they yeah. reach out to every week. You know, so we're trying to you know, you tap want to do something that. in there before rap for some right. kind of a little concert for them. Get them all hyped so they can all come out. So. Say, we need more people like you guys. Seriously. We, and we no, need more no. people. Right. <laughs> we just need more people. That's it. You know? it, it's right. hard too. You know, somebody was asking me the other day, uh, John, John Lopez, they said, somebody asked me if I would stop doing street ministry and prison ministry. He's like, are you crazy? As long as the streets are there, I'm there. You know, and, and that's how we feel. Yeah. You know, there's, there's always stuff to be done. You, yeah, and it's, it's, to us, it's like so disheartening that so many churches have completely forgotten about that. You know, they just don't do it. They just don't do it at all, you know. And that they've just concentrated on what's within the four walls. And right. to us, it's so disheartening because there's so much need and hurt out there. You know, how can we isolate ourselves and close ourselves in where we have the hope that these people need? Mm -hmm. You know, how can we just be so selfish yeah. and just keep it to ourselves? And, you know, that's how I see it. I see it as, you know, God has given us this beautiful gift. Right. Whether it be that you rap or you have knowledge in the word of God right. or you just have love. Right. You know, why don't you just go out there and, and share it? You know, and so that, that's how we see it, you know. Yeah, we gotta hit up Satin Island and do something. I know. It's Are there people in Satin Island or just you? <laughs> well, that, that guy, when well, he's a oh, guy. guy. There used to be three of us. I, <laughs> I don't know about 3D Remedy. Oh, 3D Remedy, right. I forgot about him. Yeah, nobody comes to Staten Island. I went there twice. Was it like family thing? or Once. Where did we go for? Uh, Mariano Rivera. We did that event. Oh, with we did that Rivera. event with Mariano. Uh, Pastor, I forgot <laughs> his like, name. Wait, what? Yeah, oh. Watson. Yeah, Pastor Watson. Oh, Pastor Watson. You know Pastor church. Watson? Mariano Rivera was out there. There was some event that he was preaching at. They asked us to go and rap, and we did it. Oh. And I never looked back. We almost blinded him, but that was good. Oh. It's a long story. Yeah, it's a long story. But it's a funny story, though. Yeah. Here we go. Quick, quick, quick. I, I love to say the story. Because uh, it's poor Justin. <laughs> yeah. So my son, Justin, who's he's not here right now. He's working. But he had he knew Mariano was going to be there. Of course, that's why we, we were going. Right. So he took a Mariano Rivera baseball card with him to get an autograph. Aww. So we were going to get there early. Naturally, you get there early with the artist, whatever. Mm -hmm. You get to see him. Mariano wasn't there on time. He, he was There was a game that day, so he was coming after the game to go right. minister and then bounce. So we got there, we were ready to start. Right there. Yeah, we, we, we were right. getting ready to start. We were getting ready to start, and he wasn't there yet. So we're sitting there in the second row. First row was reserved for Mariano Rivera and his, you know, whoever came with him. So we're sitting there, we're like, we cool. Justin's holding his card the whole time. Uh, DJ Newman sitting right here next to Justin, mm -hmm. their brother. DJ Newman was behind oh, us. Oh, DJ Newman was it behind was, us. See, just, CJ was, Justin was at the end, and when Mariano came, the only seat available to sit was next to Justin. Oh, my God. So he sits so, next to Justin. You see Justin's going like this. Justin's holding this Mariano Rivera baseball card in his hand, and Mariano goes like this to him. Hey, boy, oh what's God. that you have in your hand? <laughs> he can not even talk. He lost the ability he said, of speech. So Mariano, you know, with his Ricky Ricardo accent, what you want me to do? <laughs> He's like, you want an autograph? He's just like, okay. <laughs> you have pen? Now this is where it gets fun. Oh, God. DJ Newman right. was sitting behind us watching this whole thing and heard when Mariano said, do you want a pen? And he didn't want to miss out on the opportunity. So he had a Sharpie. You know, DJs always have Sharpies to so write right. on the CDs. He had a Sharpie. When he pulled that Sharpie out from his pocket, the cap flew off. The marker flew and hit Mariano on the head. <laughs> and Mariano says, that was fast. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, it would be perfect in the news. Brothers Incorporated DJ, DJ oh Newman blinds Mariano. And met, you know? I was like, oh that, my God. That's great. He's so humble though, right? Very Mariano, humble. Yeah, he's oh, great. He lo yeah, he looks it. Very he's humble very, guy. Yeah, he walked in there. He spoke. Yeah, somebody drove him there, of course. <laughs> and he drove him back out. <laughs> but he walked in, he couldn't stay, but Justin got the only autograph of the, for the day. He wasn't able to give autographs because he was, you know, busy and yeah. it would've, he would have been there all night giving autographs. <laughs>
But uh, Justin put that card in, I, I think, in Alice's uh, purse, and we walked out of there. Everybody's looking at Justin like mad because he got the only autograph. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm looking like mad, like, don't even look at him. <laughs> you poked him with a shark in his left eye. And he's a Mets fan. And he, and he's, he's a Mets a fan, fan too. To top it all. So he, I think he did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, said, Man, he's still pitching tonight. Oh. Sorry, we still got a couple rings after that. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's how Mariano's story is fun. We, that we was our only time I think the sat. I don't think I've ever been back there. Yeah, sorry. That was it. Well, we're going to have a couple of weeks for dinner, right? What's, yeah, I was going to say, gonna... me and Tim are going to invite you guys yeah, yeah. over. And, you know. and we'll take a picture crossing the bridge. <laughs> 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 oh, it's a bunch of freestyle God. over the bridge. Okay, I... I'll wrap this hat on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's good, man. Um, what You're getting back into ministry now. Mm -hmm. You know, you're starting to rap again. Do you have dates already booked? Uh, or is this just... Well, I have, I have a lot of stuff pending right now. I've been doing a um, couple things with Rock the Block. I just did something... Uh, oh, I saw the pictures. Where was it? That was a nice stage. Yeah, it was in somewhere in Long Island. Somewhere. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we got a, stuff, a couple stuff lined up with that. Um, after that, I'm just really trying to finish my album. So I'm probably 90% done. Got to work some stuff out with Rock. And then uh, we'll get into the mixing. And then hopefully by the... I'm going to Flavor Fest this year. Oh, great. Oh. So hopefully I have the album out, done, ready by then, and um, just hope and pray that it really... So you've been able to hit the studio it. Yeah. now, like after the baby's born, you hit the studio yeah. or you hit the stuff before? Oh, no, it, was, um, it was before, a lot Some, of it was before, mostly before. then I kind of went on maternity leave, and then around April-ish I started going back in the studio. So it's, it's funny, Tim works night shifts um, now, so during the day we're both home, so when I have to write, I tell Tim he has to watch Kayla for a couple hours. So I'm writing, I'm, and then I hear the baby in the background crying, she's screaming, and Tim's trying to, you know, calm her back down, and then I'm walking to him and be like, I can't do it. <laughs> I to drop everything, calm her down, and then I go back to it. It's so, it's so funny because it's something I never experienced before, just writing, you take advantage of it, but now you gotta, you know, situate everything, so. You write it's a, funny. Did you write a song about your daughter? I didn't yet, but I, I think I might. I have some like lyrics here and there in my head, but I didn't really. I mean, write even what you yet. shared before. Yeah, I was saying that whole thing about line. that bloodline yeah. connection. That's a song right there. I, I'll take credit for that. Right. That's a nice. <laughs> but That's a nice one. Co produced by Bert. God's bloodline is in Jesus. That's his only bloodline. Oh. The only that, bloodline. There you go. Yeah. Written by Alice. I know. <laughs> Please. No, you don't want her right. No, no, no. We good. We good. We almost finished actually. Yeah, we want a few minutes left. I say. I can't even rap what he writes. You know what? You know, Tim, you can relate to this. You hear their raps all the time, right? So you kind of know where they're going. I can't even follow him. It's really bad. It's really. I feel like you kind of have like a rapper voice, though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't happen now. It doesn't happen though, honey. You know it doesn't happen, so don't even <laughs> don't even gas me up because it doesn't. It just doesn't happen. What about singing though? Oh, oh sing I do. I'm a worship leader. Oh. Like I can sing. The, the power I could like. Yeah, I, I can power. sing. Sing loud. Yeah, yeah, I can sing very loud. I have, She's really loud. Show them. Show them. It's not loud. It's not loud. It's I can project. Oh, project. Oh, oh, yeah, a big projector. Oh, oh baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but she sings. She sings. And we do. We, that's what we do. We do worship at the church. So wait, you interviewing us or we interview? I know. <laughs> you have that, that skill. You should yeah, I join us. So we just that. No, no, that's too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm being real. That's this, a just trip. a question. What was your greatest fear about Saturday? It, or if you had any, what would? You I do? think my greatest was that I was scared that I wouldn't. As Christians, you shouldn't think like that. But I, I felt like I wouldn't be accepted. Like, I'm just a joke. Mm. Like, I, I felt like my words would just go over their heads. And, you know, everything that I stand for, that I believe in, it just it didn't mean anything to them. And, you know, everything that I've been through or what I'm working towards, you know, I'm trying to give back to the community and people who are less fortunate, who, who aren't where I'm at. And I want to encourage them. And sometimes when you encourage people and you want to give your heart to them, you know, they just stomp on it. Mm. It's like, whatever, you just and they don't hear you and a lot of times obviously as artists you want to be heard you want to make sure that your message is effective so if I'm going there and I'm giving it my all and they're just looking at me like I'm a joke you know I'm always scared that people yeah. won't take me seriously because of how I look or where cool. I come from and stuff so that you know it goes beyond prison ministry it's pretty much almost everywhere yeah. I go yeah, yeah. That, that was your, your fear was so deep and so meaningful mine was oh. just I hope a prison riot at the same time <laughs> <laughs> I'm there I'm so scared 
she read she read like a whole list of things in the car. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> Hold my hand. You better be. But when I turn around, I'm gonna see you. You better leave in a group of three or four. I'm not gonna go talk oh, to that's anybody. True. That was my greatest no, fear. And then when they were right, when we were going into the gym right. and the adult prisoners were, I said, "We're done. We are so done." That oh, was no, my that biggest was fear. Funny. We were taking out the equipment, and it was just like three of us taking the equipment, and there was a bunch of men. Oh, the and the, oh. and, a, and an officer was like, they were walking towards us, and the officer was like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait!" And he had a bullhorn because they were the big guy. Yeah, yeah. And John came over and said, "Don't, don't, don't worry. We, I got him. Set him back. Put him back. Put him back." I was like, "Yo, what they gonna do, Rod Jack?" <laughs> You do a prison ministry a lot, right? No. I did it oh, once. Uh-huh. I did it once. He does. I did it once before I was married. Right. I was very young, and I went, and I was traumatized yeah. because oh, no. they did it in the chapel, right? Uh-huh. And they were like, I probably exaggerated from fear. Right? They just multiplied, right. but it probably wasn't that many of them. They were like 100 huge prison mean looking men right. in a chapel. Okay. Then you know how every door locks when you go uh, into prison, right? right? So they put us in the chapel, the doors lock, one security guard. Oh, oh goodness. And I'm looking and I'm going. Was it a girl? A little girl. I was like, you can't be kidding me. Right. These men are bigger than one security guard. They oh. decide they want to be. I'm dead. Right. I'm just gone. Was, That's it. Right. I never went back. Never went back to this time that I went with him. So my picture of prison ministry was was not a nice one. <laughs> you know what my fear was on the program side, and it's not. It, it turned out to be good at the end. Uh-huh. But when the person that we had in mind to open up uh-huh. finally said, you know, couldn't be there, I was like, I can't have he somebody open up. I don't think. I know. Be. No, but in my mind, I was like, in a lie. <laughs> yeah. Well, and uh-huh. honestly, that's that was my fear, and I was telling brother E. I said, yo, I don't, I don't know. Like, should we open with a freestyle? How do we warm this up? You know, how do, how do we break into He Sun Lee coming up and, and rapping? And I was just sitting there, said, Lord, just hook me up here, tell me something. And all of a sudden, something just came from. I said, she got it. She'll be all right. When you went up there and you started, I, I. I had my arms folded, like, you know, try to be tough. <laughs> try to jump me, like, well, you don't want to know. <laughs> I had my arms folded, like, you know, to brother E, is like, Shaking. yo, she rocked it. Like that. Oh. And he's like, yeah. I was like, actually, it worked. You know, like, God had a way of planning everything yeah. properly, because in my mind, I had a whole different program. Yeah, yeah. And as the day got closer, everything just kept changing and changing and moving. And the time got shorter. We went from a one-hour set to a 15-minute set. Yeah. So, you know, six songs to four songs. And some other rappers from Florida showing up. I'm like, oh, who are you? Who are you gonna, oh, yeah. You're going to rap. I don't know. I never heard you. I know who you are, whatever. It was like crazy yeah. stuff. But God just laid everything out, you know, yeah. perfect. Perfect, and it worked out well. I think that was the best thing we did was have you open up first because you totally messed all of them up. They didn't know what to expect. Right. Now you really messed right. them up. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but definitely wasn't expecting right. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think it worked out well. And, uh, right. You know, we well, really appreciate you. Oh, Eli's fear. We all shared our fear. Oh, sorry, sorry, baby. Baby. I scratched you. What? What happened? What's he your fear? No, you had no fear because you were the behind time. the soundboard. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Tune in next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what? I didn't have a fear. Oh, no. No. I, I was I was worried that, you know, they may, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like half, I was like running on Why did you wear a solid asleep. black t-shirt? Why did I wear a solid black t-shirt? Because I didn't want to get jumped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I didn't want to be like Jake Abasa. Jake Abasa they were both in a game. A sweater, too. Jake Abasa like wore red. And they, they were no, I, oh, yeah, it I worked out because that. he wore the t-shirt I was going to wear, which was a unique shirt. Then we would have looked like And a then I was just looking at, honestly, I was rushing, though, because we were, we were, I was sleeping over, and I was like, yo, I got to figure out something to get. And I was like, that's the quickest thing. <laughs> I just got the black tee. Yeah. I think there's nothing on it, but. Um, Here's a question, then. What's the question? Would you do it again? Would you do this prison ministry yeah, stuff yeah. again? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely go. It was, it was just mm-hmm. being there, and I, I think I mentioned it to you a couple of times, even to Jose, I was just shocked. And I think letting them see that even, whatever I did, I mean, just by helping out with the sound or whatever, just hiding helping, behind the walk, yeah, whatever, hiding behind, you know, <laughs> under the table, is fine. But <laughs> at least they knew somebody else came. <laughs> I, think, I think the funny thing is a lot of them, you know, seeing them at that position, I was just like, wow, like... Yeah. 
I'm going. I thought the same. You know, I, thought, I know. I think we all. You know, we're going home, and and I'm going to my nice queen size bed, relaxing. Right. And they're gonna go yeah. into probably you know, a, a thin mat, if that, you know. Right. And, and they're going with seventeen dollars. Right. As soon as we left the place and we got on the bus to go to the parking lot, I was thinking. I was like, oh, we're going home now. Mm-hmm. All we had to do was go through it on the wire. Well, that's what messed up Omega. That guy Omega that was, yeah. that was yeah. hugging yeah, the bowl his arm. Right. He was he was a mess. Like that was his first time. Yeah. And he really got emotional. He, That's what he, he kept he, saying. Person, he, it's not fair. We're going. Someone home walked up to him and, hung, and asked him like, "Someone up and gave him a hug?" And that kid was hysterical crying. Oh, the other with the, the kid, no, yeah, that hugged yeah, him. I saw him. And I think that just like as much as he tried to hold it, he just couldn't. It's tough. Prison ministry is tough. You know, it's tough. <laughs> you have to go in there knowing that you're what whatever you're implementing as a change or hoping you're implementing as a change is not for immediate you know it's, it's spiritual yeah. it's not physical like you can't just say okay, go get your sneakers we're going home now as much as you want to you know and it, it's it's tough but i i definitely recommend to anybody everybody watching if you have an opportunity to do prison ministry even do if it. you're scared just do it yeah. you know even if you don't do anything when you get there just sit in the corner right. don't observe you i think yeah, you really I have to see it. i wasn't scared i just hung out <laughs> you're just observing I was, you know i was security everybody that went up to the front was helping out we, were, we had like six saying? cops with us we were they weren't doing nothing <laughs> they didn't have to they, they were sitting down they, 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 no they don't have to that's another thing to. that's one thing we noticed too we were, no, they don't a couple have of us were like no 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 arm they can't you know and, so you um, saw the sign after we yeah, did yeah, that, that first you, lock and door. Yeah, no, I, no firearms no or beyond no weapons point. beyond this point. Mm-hmm. So, well, I mean, we, we'll do it again soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, I already put a call in. Right. To John to do the maternity ward. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, it's already, We're it's already, already the wheels are already rolling okay. for that one. I, so. I am so I want to do that really, really. So as soon as they get back to me and we get a date, I'll, I'll okay. let you know. We'll do it. We good. Just we can't good. take the baby from there. Like, uh, see, can you believe that? You I, 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 I wouldn't be that's able to go. I don't, that's gonna be a tough one. I, I don't know. I have to that's really pray about me. that. That's <laughs> maternity ward, right? Yeah, they have they it's have the I pregnant know. women, and then they have the nursery for oh, the, the, the mothers that have given birth already. And I think they could stay there for up to a year, the babies. And if the family doesn't take it, they directly go to foster care. You know, I think that's the process. But still. An infant in jail. Yeah, even just being pregnant just, in jail makes you worry. That's just so disheartening. Yeah. It is just, it baffles the mind that. Right. I was thinking about, okay, I'm getting a little off course. I was right. thinking about that when I was at home that night and I was feeding Kayla in the middle of the night. And when I'm rocking her in a nice room and I was, I was thinking about the whole day and what I went through. And I'm sitting here with my daughter in my arms. It's just so sad. So, and, and I'm sure that they don't have free access to the baby. Right. Because everything is so, you know, I'm sure they only have couple of you know, right yeah when we left there was that. a there was a there was a an oh, inmate right, having a, 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 a supervised visit and it was a lady and a, and and a child baby. And who tough. knows it could have been you know his fiance his right. girlfriend yeah, or whatever tough. you know and that's just sad like that's crazy this show's not supposed to be sad we're talking to he son lee here he's in the building and it was also it was the day before father's day mm. i know that's that was the hardest part I think that was the hardest part. Sunday God, morning, of thinking kids, of, huh? Happy Father's Day is like. Yeah, that's when we woke up in the morning. Kids, it's like with no with Father's, no father's Day. Days. Well, they have fathers, but they can't. Or do they? they? Or if if they do, they still can't celebrate with them unless the father comes to prison, which is unfortunately not likely. Right. You know. It's just it's just it's tough. you know it's like when you go there, there's so much hopelessness. Mm. You yeah, know, and and you're coming in and you're trying to bring hope, and but you're leaving. And they're still in, the, you know, and it's 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 that whole thing, and it's just I, I think we take so much for granted. Yeah. We take so much for granted, you know, that we have our families, we have all these freedom, we can put salt and pepper on our burgers, right. and you know, and, and we can and relish and all the relish. Oh, you know, I almost squirted one of them with ketchup. Uh-huh. Oh my God! He said I wanted to die. You know right. when the ketchup does that? Like, when you squeeze it, <laughs> and they have white T-shirts. Right. I said. They're gonna kill me with the ketchup Wait, bottle. You couldn't you know? get it out? Yeah, I couldn't get it out. It. So I just squeezed it. And it was, I said, like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that anyway. Was that was yeah. at the beginning of the run. <laughs> but um, again, we, we, we appreciate your ministry. Thank you for joining us on Saturday. Of course, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. We're looking forward to the new project. Uh, after four years of waiting, we know it's 
going to be something. I know, so it has to be something extravagant, right? Yes. No, no, but it's no. Gonna, I'm sure it's no, going to be something yes. refreshing. I'll okay. say it'll be it's going to be. Yes, it, has to be it better be something if extravagant. If it's not, then you're going to be more if disappointed. It's not. Oh, we'll have you back on here. It's not going to be a good interview. <laughs> 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 we'll have the four years, this is what you come out with? <laughs> Could you really? believe? Could please you tell believe? me that this is a joke? <laughs> We're being punked. We're being punked. <laughs> instead, of, instead of being all excited about the songs, like, listen to this. <laughs> I just cut it halfway. <laughs> Can you believe that? Four years. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. I'm going to be thinking about you guys in the studio. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, we're looking forward to it. And naturally, if you're out there, if you're looking for an MC, a rapper, or someone to come minister to the young people, or even to the adults in your church, the community, you know, consider yeah, consider yeah, booking yeah, Sun Lee. Uh, we've been posting the information up on the screen all night. Just give them a call, email, whatever it is. Reach out. Um, she'll come out, and, and I I confidently say she'll do a great job. Mm -hmm. um, I think she'll, she'll do a phenomenal job. You'll, you'll be very impressed. Yep, and your kids will be blessed. <laughs> and if she doesn't, just let me know. Oh, oh, okay. Or we'll tweet about that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of Twitter followers. Not, not like everybody else with the millions, but I got enough. I'll, yeah. I'll tweet about it. <laughs> we know how to make some moves. Now, stop. Uh, no, seriously, man, we, we appreciate you. We're not going to put yeah. you on the spot asking for an acapella, freestyle, or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. We're off the hook today. Right. That's good? Yeah. Because, okay, you know, right. I got it. It's, it's not right. No. When the album out. comes out, you'll oh, be here. I was gonna do one. I actually had to no, no, we're good. Okay, okay, do one. Do one. What okay. time is it? No, you're not we ran out of time. Ran out of time. Sorry. <laughs> no, we, so? we are done. We are done. But uh, <laughs> before we end, do you have any words that you want to say? Anything to, whether it be regarding your new album coming out and say it even more maybe. details. Um, Say it in Even more details of when you can expect it or what to expect, the title, if so, if it's already out there, a title? Um, or a... Well, everything's still under the works. We're still okay. trying to figure everything out, but I am definitely having trying to have it done sometime this summer. I mean, August, yeah. I really want it, but I can picture Rock laughing behind <laughs> on his couch like that ain't happening. So I, I, really, I really don't know, but I'm really hoping by the end of summer it should be out. So I will definitely keep you guys posted and, you know, you know, just anybody, whether you're Christian or not, you know, what listening to the show, you know, just knowing the, through pr uh, prison ministry or anything that you want to be doing, just just always know where your heart is and never forget why you're doing what you're doing. That mm -hmm. is, it is very important to be ministering at churches and helping other Christian people, but you know, saving the lost. I feel like a lot of times we forget mm -hmm. the lost, yeah, because they're lost. But <laughs> so we forget. But yeah. it's it's very it's very important that we always be reminded of that and having people like Burr and Alice and um, Ratfest that always constantly reminds us because I needed it, you know, me too. I did prison ministry once, it was last year, and that was it. And um, to be able to keep doing things like this is very important. And to know that yeah, you have absolutely. people in your life absolutely. who help you to get there is very important because I wouldn't have been able to do it. No, absolutely. And, and guys, so. artists that are out there, if you're looking to do prison ministry, trust me, there, there are people out there that are dying to go into the prisons right. with artists and stuff. They just don't know who to call. You know, so if you're out there, you're interested, you want to hit me up and I'll send you names of chaplains and whatever mm -hmm. is out there that's doing prison ministry, you know, we'll hook it up that way. Mm -hmm. um, I like the fact that John Lopez kept calling it mini rap fest, rap fest yeah, right yeah, here. Right. I like, wow, that's, that's pretty That cool. was interesting. It's going to look good on the resume. <laughs> it's not really a rap fest. I was going to say, just, <laughs> just how we do rap fest every year, it'd be nice if we do... Even if it's just once a year, mini rap is out of jail. But you heard. You know, um, that would be Jose. really nice. That was good. Oh, yeah, real quick shout out. Jose Triple J Audio blessed us with a sound system for sound system for prison. I mean, who does that? Waking up early in the morning and bring out equipment and do all that. And we were shrugging. And, and it was yeah. a lot of work. That to get sounds so Yeah, right? It was good. But we gave looked, them a good quality. I can't you know, not he was G. looking at that field. Right. He says, Bert, yo. You should do rap fest here. <laughs> Forget the church people. You need the right. prisoners. All of yeah. them to be out here. I said, you know what? You got a point, man. We should think about that. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we can make some. John will make it happen, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. He wanted a stage and everything for this time, so it didn't work. But that, that's a it big should be something, something to think something about. Something to that, consider. You know, something for you guys to pray about as well. Let's do something else, you know? Yeah. Uh, but shout out to Triple J Audio, John Lopez, and people over at Crossroads, Elements Church, Glory of Christ Church, uh, everybody, Sanctuary Fellowship church uh icc icc even the icc people you just met oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, shit, by the way. Yeah. i just want to let you know that <laughs> you should go to church more often <laughs> i know he's there he's an usher <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> but, <laughs> that was kind of funny but uh yeah shout out to everybody who participated and you know we've got grant the desires of your heart according to his will man Amen. uh 
We're going to end with this song by PK, who will be with us next Sweet. week. PK featuring Chris, who was with us last, last week. week. And the song is called Mr. Blue Sky. Right here, Redfest Radio, RedfestRadio.com. You will learn us because we are out of control. Peace. See you guys next week. God bless. See you. We're out. We out. Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky. These streets got at me, now we don't remember me Married to Mary Jane, Mistress Hennessy All mugger concubines way down Tennessee Reckless, if I caught AIDS, man, let it be Tempting me, preachers can't sleep with the enemy Drugging me, couldn't work the pharmacy in Genovese Born in the 70s, makes me a better me Hands in the sky, point them up to the heavenly God is the principle, sign for assembly Holy Ghost, that's flow, spiritual and friendly me Christ is the remedy, this is for his memory His life on the cross, that was the recipe Go to hell, this is what Satan keep texting me Seeing me becoming what he thought I would never be Never see, rebuke lesbians that are Lebanese Used to pray on dudes, now I'm praying for my enemies So free and he did it, the end from the beginning He knows me, I'm committed He showed me in the vision The old me in the kitchen With OZs on the skizzy And OGs that was with me Police ran up on us And all three of us cornered All three of us gone us But there goes grace Mercy and faith Like a stalker in wait Rewind the tape Part of my pace Cause I'm dodging the clowns Phonies and fakes All my mistakes Was part of the race And partially a part of me Wishes that y'all could relate I was a half a second late When gunshots had took place didn't make the trip to the ad when Trish was shot in the face uh, But there goes I, not a day go by That I don't thank God, he could've said dead that guy But there was always a purpose, man, God can't lie So I give the praise to the Father and we call him what? Mr. Me. Christ is defending me When I got saved They thought it was the end of me I'm a rare pedigree Giving in never me Anointing so high No need for the ecstasy Contact, take it in High as you ever be Prisoner of Christ now Heaven arrested me Crucify him For my sin he bled me Crucify my flesh My old man dead to me Rest in peace Realize Jesus a friend of me Living my life now The way it was meant to be Vexing me Running from my sin like it's leprosy Take away God And there's nothing else Left in me The enemy Desperately After my destiny Lifting me That's what my Lord Is saying you said to me Especially with Jesus Bring out the best in me This an appetizer Wait for the rest of me